Hey guys, and welcome back to another tutorial video. Today we're in Adobe Premiere Pro, and I'm gonna show you how to add an adjustment layer to your video projects in order to apply multiple effects or even individual effects to um, all of the clips or just certain clips on your timeline. So an adjustment layer is great for adding color, uh, when you're color grading or color correcting uh, or adding specific effects to a mass amount of footage on your timeline. So in order to add an adjustment layer within Adobe Premiere Pro, uh, there's a couple of ways of doing it. I like to go down here under where all my footage is and then right here where you see new, it says new item. If we click on new item here, we can see that we have all of these options here and the fourth one down is going to be adjustment layer. So go ahead and click on the adjustment layer option and then it's going to uh, pop up this dialog box here that says video settings and then depending on the uh, footage that you've already kind of tossed into your timeline if it's 1080p footage this setting should be 1080p uh, for me this is 4k uh, i'm going to do uh, 29 fps here i'm going to leave everything just as it is as i've already tossed some footage into the timeline you want to make sure that your adjustment layer is the same as your footage that you're working with in your timeline. So once you've gone to new and you have the adjustment layer set up, go ahead and click OK. And then you're going to see it over here as if it's a new bit of media. So whether uh, like it's either a sequence or a bit of audio or a video clip, it's going to be over here in your video bin or whatever you want to call it. And then we can just click and hold the adjustment layer and then drag this onto a video timeline space here. So we can go ahead and put it on uh, V3 or V2, it really doesn't matter. And just make sure it's above the video clips that you're trying to apply the effects to. So as you can see, we have our new adjustment layer here. I'm gonna go ahead and make this a little bigger just to make it a little easier for us to see. And then I'm gonna click and hold and drag that out here just so it's being applied to all of my video footage here. And as you can see on the timeline, I have a nice bit of uh, wedding footage here from a recent wedding film that I was working on. Uh, and we're gonna add a little bit of color correction or color grade, whatever you wanna call it, uh, to this one here via Lumetri. Uh, that's a, a plugin that I use here within Premiere Pro, but it really doesn't matter. It can be any effect that you want that you want to apply to a multitude of clips within your Premiere Pro project. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and go to my color settings here to kind of bring up my color editing workspace. And then what I'm going to do is select the adjustment layer. Make sure you have your adjustment layer selected. So underneath creative here, I'm going to go ahead and go for a look and I have a LUT that I've installed here and I'm going to go ahead and apply this LUT here. So as you can see here, uh, we've applied the LUT directly to the adjustment layer. Just pretend like you added, you know, changed some colors and did some color grading there if that's what you want to do. And then I'm going to hop back over to my editing workspace. And then if I go here and if I actually go ahead and hide or toggle that, you can see that if I hide it, then the adjustment layer obviously is not being applied to the footage. But if I don't hide it, then the adjustment layer is being applied to whatever is underneath that adjustment layer. So we're going to make the video a little bit bigger so you can see kind of what I'm doing here. I'm now going to import another bit of video footage to show you exactly what happens. So basically now anything that you put underneath that specific adjustment layer will have any of the effects that you have applied to said adjustment layer. So we're gonna go ahead and import another bit of video here, and then we're gonna drag that over on to our timeline. Now, if we go over here, we can see that that LUT or that effect is being applied to that new clip that we just added to our timeline. Now, if we hide that, you can see that's the original, and this is with the adjustment layer. And we're gonna go ahead and pull it halfway through this clip so you can see the difference. So if we go ahead and, and go to our, put our playhead here, and then play the video, there's the effect, and then boom, the effect falls off. Why? Because our adjustment layer isn't all the way across or above the clip. So now anything that you put underneath this specific adjustment layer will have whatever effects that you apply to that specific adjustment layer. Now, the beauty of this is that let's say you don't want it to be on specific clips. Well, it's great because the way that the snapping works within Premiere Pro, we can go here and we can cut it out right here and then hit our V key and then remove that. And now it's automatically not going to show up on that specific clip. So it'll be on this clip, but not this one over here. So again, adjustment layers can be split, cut and moved just like you would do any other element within Adobe Premiere Pro. And then lastly, if you want to add an adjustment layer, you have to make sure that you have your bin selected and not your timeline. So if you have your timeline selected, it's not gonna work. Make sure you have your bin selected, then go to file, new, adjustment layer just like so and then you're good to go so that's how you add and work with adjustment layers within premiere pro if you have any questions please put those in the comment section below if this video helps you out don't forget to help me out by liking sharing and subscribing for more great technology tutorials just like this 
and I will see you guys in the next video.